Today I want to check out how to make this 3D rolling text animation here in After Effects Beta. All right, so let's create a new composition and I'm going to change it to 4K. I'm going to go with three seconds, rename the comp 3D text. Click OK. Now let's select the type tool, type in something. By the way, this is the commission font. I also going to leave a link in the description so you can download it. Now let's go and activate the 3D at the text. If you don't have this option, you can click on the toggle switch, so it's going to appear. Let's open up the settings. And as you can see, we don't have the geometry option, so we're going to need to switch the classic 3D to advanced 3D here in After Effects Beta. Now I'm going to go to the geometry options. Let's go to the extrude depth. I'm going to increase it, something like this. Let's go to the bevel style, change it to angular, bevel depth. 0.3 and I'm also going to increase the distance in between the letters so I got to go here and probably going to add 25 there you go I'm also going to activate the title action safe and I'm going to try to position it perfectly into the center here so I'm going to use this text as a reference and I'm going to duplicate it press ctrl d to duplicate and I'm going to work with the bottom text layer scroll down and I'm going to go to the opacity decrease it I'm going to go somewhere around 30 so if you uncheck the top layer you can see it is going to look more transparent now you can collapse it let's select the top layer activate it and I'm also going to open up the top layer now let's go to the material options I'm going to increase the specular shininess to 60 and now we can collapse it I'm going to lock the bottom layer let's select the top layer double click on it and I'm going to remove the letter, so I'm remaining with the letter P. Press Enter. I'm going to type in P. And I'm also going to need to decrease the distance in between these letters. So I'm going to go here and bring it down. So I'm going to go with 28. I can double click again. Let's select the bottom P. Enter. And I'm going to add another P. Great. So from here, I'm going to select this layer with the P. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. And I'm going to bring the second one right here. And I'm going to try to rename it, double click, press A, enter, A, enter, A. And I'm going to position it on the invisible letter A. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, bring it here, double click, rename, enter, and so on and so forth. And position it again. It should look something like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is activate the ruler, press Ctrl R. And I'm going to go and drag and drop a ruler at the bottom of the top text and also at the top side. There we go. Now let's go to the layers. Let's select all the letters. I'm also going to delete, by the way, the bottom one, which is invisible. So I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to bring it up with the Y axis. So now we're going to try to fit in the bottom text in between the rulers here. Let me see push it a little bit more there you go perfect so it's going to start with the bottom and now press the letter p for position we're going to go and activate the stopwatch on every each and i'm going to bring it to the first second and i'm going to go here and drag this and it's going to bring down the text so now we're going to start with the top text to make it position perfectly i'm going to press the upper arrow a few times so it's going to fit there you go so if you bring it back, now we got an animation going on. I'm also going to select all the keyframes, right click on the keyframe, keyframe assist and select easy ease. So now what we're going to need to do is delay the letters. So let's go here to the keyframes at the ending keyframes and select them. And if you are in After Effects beta, there's a new feature if you press Ctrl plus Alt and hover the mouse on the keyframe and drag it and check this out. This is going to delay the keyframes. So I'm going to go something like this. There you go. And I'm going to bring it to the first second. And let's see what we got. There you go. I'm also going to need to add some lighting. So I'm going to go here, right click new, select light. Make sure to select environment and click OK. Here also make sure to activate the cast shadows. And I'm going to go to the transform, open it up. And I'm going to bring this back here. Let's go and activate the X and the Y rotation of the light. And I'm going to bring it somewhere at the end. Let's go type in here one. So it's going to rotate 360 degree angles. And here also I'm going to type in one. And let's go here at the ending keyframes. Bring it all the way out. So this way it's going to loop itself. So if you hit play, you can see the lights are moving. Okay, so now but least we're going to create a new composition here. Right click, select new composition. This is going to be the final comp. And here I'm going to go to the preset. Instead of 4K, I'm going to select 1080p, 29 frames per second. 
three seconds, click OK. And we're gonna drag and drop the 3D text here into the final comp. And what I gotta do is select the rectangle here and mask this. So I'm gonna start from here and drag it. And now if you hit play, boom, there you go. And now we're gonna perfect rolling text in 3D here in After Effects Beta.